Hi guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. I am Lore and it's almost end of the year, just one week for Christmas. So today I have a very Christmassy setup as you can see and I will be painting a Christmas tree or a pine tree. And yeah, I think it will be a very fun tutorial, very easy as well. So you can join me anytime and let's go. So basically what I'm going to do is I am separating my paper in two different sections. So I'm going to paint two different uh, Christmas trees or pine trees. And the first one I will do it with liquid watercolor. I chose for this one two different greens so I can have these um, different uh, tones on my painting. And what I'm going to do is add some dots with both of the different greens just in a straight line to be like the trunk of our tree. So some dots with the light green and some dots with the darker green just to make like a straight line for the trunk. Once you have done that, just grab a flat brush like this one or if you're painting in a bigger size, you can grab a bigger flat brush like this one. Just dump it in water and it's a very simple and easy and quick technique. So basically play with the shape of your brush to paint the branches of your pine tree. Start by the top just with the edge of your brush by doing the line of the trunk and then from there you can start by painting the sides of your tree. As you can see I've used the smaller flat brush for the tip of our tree and then I'm using the bigger one just to do the bigger areas of our tree. As you can see we have different shades of greens because we used two different ones and now they mix together. So just drag the watercolors that you placed uh, in, in the trunk of the tree to just make the branches. I'm going to add some of the darker green on my watercolor palette just to add a bit of details of the, on the base of my tree and this time you can grab some darker shades as well just to make it a bit darker and to give a bit more contrast to your tree. And then just for the base of the tree, I'm going to grab some clean water and a lighter shade and I'm just going to drag it, just touching the trunk of the tree just a little bit so it fades into this bit that I'm painting here. So 
this is the first pine tree that we painted our first Christmas tree and then I'm going to show you the second version for the second version we are going to use some round brushes so if you have those around uh, grab them and we will need some clean water so make sure to always have two water cups of water when you're painting one of clean water and one with dirty water so you always have clean water handy so our first uh, pine tree is finished now we're going to do a second one with uh, different brushes so we're going to use round brushes this time and we are going to use um, clean water. Make sure to always have two glasses of water, one with clean and one with dirty water where you can clean your brushes. And basically what we're going to do is grab some clean water with a round brush and apply some dots of water like from the top to the bottom and a bit on the sides of the tree like kind of drawing with clean water on the paper just it, you don't have to wet it all just a bit where you want the tree to go kind of like that and then you can start and take some watercolors and start painting on top of the water that you just applied. For this second painting it will be handy if you mix your watercolors beforehand. So what I have done is I mixed a light green here and a darker one here and you can even mix a third one which will be even darker if you want. And then um, we'll start with the lightest one and then just go from the top painting lightly with the tip of your brush just giving that tree shape. Always starting from the trunk and going to the sides. Then grab the darker color just to mix some greens. It doesn't have to be perfect, so just experiment with your watercolors and your brushes. For the base of the tree we're going to do the same thing as we did on the previous painting. Just drag some water with a bit of color, just touching the trunk of the tree a little bit so the paint flows. And then you can always add more details and more contrasts with darker shades of green on your trunk and on your tree.
and this is how you can paint a pine tree or a Christmas tree with two different techniques, two different brushes, but very simple and very easy. So I hope you enjoyed it and see you next week with another video. Bye! I hope you have a nice Christmas time.